welcome back. This is Sarah. Today we're gonna be whipping up some desserts with this Whipple Craft Creations starter set. Oh yes, we are going to be making these delicious looking creations. Oh my gosh, don't they look so delicious? But nope, we cannot eat them. They are not edible. So I believe I found this set at Toys R Us and they were selling it for about $15. Wow, this comes with a lot of pieces. So here's everything that came inside of my box. So many cute accessories, including that cat. Although I did notice that I am missing a few beads. So if my desserts don't quite look like the pictures, that's because I'm missing some of those beads. Also in the box was, of course, the Whipple Frosting a frosting tip and this set only comes with one star shaped frosting tip some paper pastry accessories some instructions on how to make the designs for your delicious pastries and lastly here is an instruction booklet and this gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to make each pastry in the set these look so super yummy. I'm really excited, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is prep our pastry bag. All of our Whipple frosting is towards the tip. We need to twist the top of the bag and then put this adorable little heart-shaped twisty on the edge. Oops, I don't think I have this on right. I think it goes in right here. And this is a really easy way to use this pastry bag. I love this idea. Now I just need to change the tip. There's a little thing. Oops, I'm gonna pop that out. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. That's okay, that's okay. We'll quickly put the tip on. And now it should be ready to go. Oh wait, hang on. I forgot this little piece. It goes in like that. And then the cap goes right on the tip of the pastry bag. All right, now we're ready to whipple. This first design that we're going to be making is a piece of cake. And I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this right, but if not, it'll still look delicious. So we'll just keep working the frosting on the edge of the cake and then we'll make some more frosting here in the middle do a little swirl and make a star on the tip add a cute little rose on the top a green leaf on the side a little paper accessory here and lastly, the paper sheet goes on the bottom. Oh my gosh, that was actually super easy. I thought this was gonna be more difficult than it really is, but actually, I'm really confident now. I think this came out absolutely adorable. It looks so yummy, so let's make some more. I absolutely love this. This came out super adorable. This does take, I think, about an hour for it to dry, so I'm not gonna handle it too much, but you can put this on a chain and wear it as a necklace. Cute! Here's another adorable little French pastry. Cute! 
delicious looking cupcake. I love that bow. like some sort of a chocolatey dessert. Delicious! Ice cream cone with a piece of gold chocolate. little strawberry with a whipped cream ring. top part of our big wedding cake. finished cake. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I wish I wasn't missing the colorful beads that come inside of this set. It would look a little bit more fancy that way, but I already do think it's quite adorable, especially with those roses on top. Well, you guys, this set was actually easier than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be difficult to get the frosting to look good on the items, but actually most of them came out pretty cute, so I may try another Whipple kit. If you guys want to see more Whipple, let me know in the comments box down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video.